Hey guys, what's up? It's Cam. You're watching Lovely Overload. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel. Um, today I'm just going to be trying out this uh, MAC foundation that I just picked up. It's my first MAC foundation purchase. Um, you guys know I rock Revlon Color Stay like crazy. I love it. That's what I like to use when I use foundation. Now, you guys also should know that I use the uh, MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. And this is in dark. Um... I put this powder straight on my face and it really just evens out my skin and makes my skin look flawless. So I really love this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. So when I heard that the foundation was out, I wanted to try the Mineralized Foundation. This foundation has SPF 15 and this is the color NC45. Now that's what they matched me with. Um, and this is, oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to blind you. This is the actual color of the foundation. Um, so I'm just going to put this on and we're going to see how it looks. I'm going to use my MAC 187 brush. I'm going to buy the 130 uh, MAC brush, but I haven't done so yet. It does um, have a, sorry, I don't want to keep showing you that mirror. It does have a compartment underneath which contains uh, um a sponge but I don't want to use a sponge so I'm gonna just go ahead and apply the foundation I already have a moisturizer on my skin so I'm just gonna apply this all over okay Okay, so that is the foundation. It has been applied. And again, this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. I'm sorry, this is the MAC Mineralized Foundation. And this is in the color NC45. And a lot of people were asking what my uh, MAC foundation color was. And that is it. I'm an NC45. Okay. A few things I don't like already about this um, foundation. It um, definitely it goes on heavy for me. Um, I like light coverage. I don't want it to look so foundation-y. But also I think it's the brush. I think if I get the 130 brush and apply it that way, I might be more pleased with it. But when I take my finger and like really like blend it in, and then I like it, you know. So maybe applying it with the um the sponge would be best for one of those little red things. I know you guys seen those sponges. But this is how it makes my skin look. I don't have any powder, I didn't set it with anything. Just Rocking the foundation. I know you guys like it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Um, this is my sew in. I washed it and dried the braids, and it's just up here on my head. If you were wondering, Kimberly, what's going on? That's what's going on. Also, um, Look at how the foundation looks. I stabbed it with the, <laughs> the brush. So now it's just kind of open. Open to drying out and such. That's my color. I really think it's a, the best color match in foundation that I've seen for my skin. For my, you know, I got, I got a good color match this time. Not because of the foundation, just it's a good 
color match for me. Yeah, it's a good color match. I like it. Okay. Now I could put the um, powder on top, but I don't think it's really necessary to do that. Just a light dusting of it. And then let me see how that looks in my mirror. Okay. The brush is shutting. So this is the my uh, the first cream foundation that I've used. Um, Max says this is going to be a part of the permanent collection now. Like you know, they normally let out mineralized eyeshadows, mineralized blushes, mineralized things like that, and they're just limited edition. Um, but this is going to become part of the permanent collection. So. You should um, pick it up, give it a try, see if you like it or whatever. Um, yeah, that's it. Just wanted to come at you guys, show you the neck mineralized skin finish. I'll see you guys later. Bye.